Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve example 10.2 from Sariku book. We are going to solve it manually using calculator. So, let's see what we can do from here. We are asking about V1 and V2 in this circuit. So, V1 is this node here and V2 is this node here. But here, this node and this node is connected by this voltage source. So, we will have this v1 and v2 as a supernode right so we will have this one which i highlighted it gray as our supernode like this okay maybe let's label that as supernode and now let's assume the direction of the current this is going down and this is going down and this is going down and then this going up okay let's do kcl at the super node okay let's do kcl at the super node okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay the only current that goes in is this one so i will have three angle zero degrees three angle zero degrees and then this current is going out this one will be v1 divided by minus j3 so i will have v1 divided by minus j3 then plus i will have this current here which is V2 divided by J6. Okay, and then another current that goes out, which is this one. And for that one, I will have V2 divided by 12. Okay, that's good. Now let's do some simplification. Okay, and I think I will have 1 over, or we put the minus sign first, so I will have minus 1 over j3 and then v1 good and then let's take out the v2 so i will have 1 over j6 plus 1 over 12 and then multiplied by v2 because we take out the v2 and then that will equal to 3 angle 0 degrees good I think that is all that we can do. We will solve it using calculator later. But so I did not simplify this. So this is equation number one. And then what else? I think we can do the inside of supernova. So inside the supernova. So we will have V1 minus V2 is equal to 10 angle of 5. So I will have V1 and then minus V2 or I write it plus minus V2 minus 1 V2 or, or just write it minus V2 right. V2 and that will equal to 10 angle 45 okay okay this is the second equation so we have two equations and two variables we should be able to solve it right so maybe let's save this here as a so i will have our a is that one and then this one here as b We will have B is equal to this one. And then this one, which is 1. Okay, maybe let's write 1 there. That is C. And then we will have minus 1 here. Maybe let's write it as minus 1. As our D. So D. And then here, 3 angle 0 as e and 10 angle 45 as f 
So I will have this as E and I will have this as N. Okay, good. Uh, I think we need to clean this up for a better view. Okay, so now we can rewrite this like this in a matrix, right? So I will have A, B, C, D, and then this multiplied by V1, and then this multiplied by V2, and that will equals to E and F. E and F. Okay, now let's plug A, B, C, D, E, and F into our calculator. Okay, the first thing that is we need to do is set up our calculator as complex. So I will have that one. And let's put this minus 1 over 3i here. And let's store that. So shift store as A. Okay, that's good. And then let's move on to B. So I will have 1 over 6i and then plus 1 over 12 and then let's save store it as b. Okay, that's good. And then now c, c is 1, so I will have 1 here. Let's store that, save store as c. Okay, and then D is minus 1, so minus 1, and let's store it as D. Okay, and then 3 angle 0, 3 angle 0 as E. So I have shift, store, E. Okay, and then 10 angle 45, 10 angle 45 as F. That will be shift store. Okay, that's good. Now we can solve it for P1, right? Because P1 is the denominator is the determinant of A, B, C, D. But the numerator is replace this AC by EF. So I will have EF and this part still BD. So we will have this will equal to ED minus BF divided by AD minus BC. Good. Now let's calculate that. So we recall. Uh, let's recall. Recall E and then recall D minus recall B and then recall F then recall A recall D minus recall B then recall C good okay this is in Cartesian but we need in uh, polar so shift number two and then number three okay that should be 25.78 25.78 and then what is the angle angle is minus 70.48 minus 70.48 and this is degrees and the unit here will be four. good that is v1 and similarly we can calculate v2 uh, and by using similar Kramer method, so we'll have A, B, C, D is here. But here I will have A, C, it's still intact, but B, D replaced by E, F. So I will have on the numerator is A, F minus C, E. And then here I will have A, D minus B, C. Good. Now let's move it out. So I will have recall A, recall F, minus recall C, and then recall E. Good. And then recall A, recall D, 
minus recall B recall C. Okay, that is the Cartesian one, and we need to convert it into polar. And that is the the answer, which is thirty one point forty one. 31.41 and then what is the angle minus 87 okay minus 87 point what point 18 18 degrees and the unit here will be four and i think that is the final answer so i will have this one here 41 and then this one here so hopefully we did not make any mistakes in the calculation let me know if i did thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye